the emphasis was on games. I suppose they felt that a girl ought to have a few muscles and give her a head start in life. But as I always say, it depends on whom you're running from. Or to. Steady girls, don't overdo it. Netball has always traditionally been a female sport, uh, just like AFL was traditionally a uh, men's sport. We've probably got 10,000 females playing here in Australia. There was never that many when I started playing 30 years ago. In the younger age groups, they still do ballet and normal girl type activities. Every parent wants their son to go out and be a professional sports star and that hasn't really been thought of for, for women and for girls. So I find that um, with females perhaps the commitment um, to be there two or three times a week is not there. My favourite soccer player is my son Christopher. My son Austin. Who's my son? Oh mine. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Lionel Messi. That is a tough question. Probably messy at the minute. Thierry Henry, but I, I call him Terry Henry. I hope it's not a trick question. Beckham. Probably messy. Messi. Lionel Messi. Yeah, he's cool. Tim Cale. Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs. Let's say Messi, then I said a name. It used to be Michael Owen. <laughs> is Maradona a soccer player? Male sport's always been the one that's been on TV. It's always received the corporate dollars. Now we're starting to see the emergence of these female teams and these female sports becoming more and more supported, becoming more supportive of the corporate dollar as well. It's all about, you know, what kind of bucks we can get back to put into the game. When we're talking about girls, we've got to have corporate dollars to put back in if we want equal pay and equal opportunities. We've got to fight for things because we're not in the same place yet. I guess the finances around sport are attached to uh, sponsorship and TV rights and uh, membership. Um, that affects uh, everything in the sport, including how much we can pay our players. Um, how much we can invest in programs and facilities and those sorts of things. If you look at the, the recent Women's World Cup, uh, and I think I read some stats somewhere that the prize money for, for the Women's World Cup was something around $15 million and the, the prize money for the Men's World Cup was $350 million. Well, the ideal thing would have would be uh, club rooms that were clean and dry and, and, um, and, and female friendly, where at the moment we tend to obviously share very limited facilities. Making sure that the facilities are there for for girls as well, you know, they don't have to share the boys' change rooms or the boys' toilets to get changed. And the councils are way behind thinking about it. They've been told years and years ago to look at it and, you know, supply something more than what we've got just now. No, I can't name any female players. I mean, obviously I know that there are professional female soccer players. I don't. Oh, well, Nancy. Oh gosh, no. 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 I don't know them by name. I can't recall. Can't think of a name at the moment, I'm afraid. What's her first name? I can't remember. Is that one? My um, daughter's playing at the moment. Yeah. Uh, yes. Not by name, no. I know the Americans are good than the Germans. The Matildas. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Who's the local girl? Sam Kerr. You know, making sure people are aware of the, the opportunities that female players do have, whether it's in this sport or in others. Obviously, sports like netball, uh, tennis do it really well. Uh, football, we, we're, we're getting better, but we've still got to, to work on it. Uh, it's just opening people's minds up. Media's coming along. The last 18 months for football here in Australia has been immense. We've had Asian Cup, we've had W League, Perth Glory ladies doing well. So we've had a bit of publicity out of that. The uh, Trans-Tasman competition that the West Coast Fever plays in has done a lot to improve the profile of, of netball at an elite level. We've got a long, long way to go. It's, it's improving. Uh, in the time I've been involved with female sport, the, the improvement and the increase in exposure, funding and all those things has got a lot better. And if there's more people playing, more girls playing, then the levels younger are much better and hence we've got opportunities for young kids. And then you watch the Women's World Cup and it's very exciting now and it's a lot about coaching and strategy. It's just something that makes common sense is, you know, women enjoy playing sport just as much as men. They need to be supported to do that. But she's all you'd ever want. She's the kind I'd like to flaunt and take to dinner. But she always knows her place. She's got style, she's got grace. She's a winner. She's a lady.